recently I was approached by Helene Federici, who is a writer, producer. She stages what she refers to as Electropera, which is mm, avant-garde opera mm -hmm. set to electronic music. Of oh, course. Cool. And she wanted to stage a one-off performance at the Million Dollar Theatre in downtown LA. And she was going to stage one of her operas, a new piece. And she wanted me to come up with something to go with that. Mm -hmm. and she just gave me carte blanche to come up with whatever I wanted. I didn't have any ideas, so that, that night that I heard from her, I set myself a subconscious, nocturnal um, query as to what this might be. Uh, and 3 a.m. in the morning, I woke up with a light flashing that said Black Dahlia, Black Dahlia, mm -hmm. Black Dahlia. Mm -hmm. So, okay, uh, yes, maybe I can resurrect those songs and write something around them, use the songs as a framework and write some dramatic content. And then, synchronistically, I turn on my computer and I have one email from, um, it's like first thing in the morning, from a friend who I hadn't heard from for some time, Joyce Rooks, who was the cellist who played on the original soundtrack okay. of the Black Dahlia pieces. And she was off on tour, but she'd seen this article, and it said, Whittier Woman's Connection to Black Dahlia Case. Mm. And there was a link to a story about Maddie Comfort, who was a jazz singer, and also an artist, visual artist. And she had made this near-to-deathbed revelation that her ex-paramour, George Hodel mm -hmm. was the killer, and um, it was something that she said she had to get off her chest, and she said that amongst her circle they all knew that he, he did it, and it's this secret that she carried with her for 50 odd years.